Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold, the Elite Four. In the last episode, we took care of Bruno, the overhyped, overhyped, overhyped steroid junkie. In this episode, we're running circles around Garen because, ooh, baby, she hot! She's also a Dark-type trainer, the first Dark-type uh, leader in any Pokemon game, and she's actually a bit difficult, even if she only has three Dark-types and one of them is utterly pathetic. Anyway... Butter, so amusing. I love dark type, known for overpowering tactics. Let's go. Nice and simple to the point. I love her. There you go. Karen, my personal favorite Elite Four female in a long time. The only uh, Elite Four female that outclasses her is Cynthia. Laurel, I be damned. Anyway, she leads off with Umbreon, a very defensive dark type. Very defensive. Don't expect to OKO it unless you are 10 levels higher than it at least. And she supplements it by having double team and I think sand attack. I think the other moves are like Dark Pulse and maybe Shadow Ball. However, no matter how defensive it is, I usually manage to take it out in two shots before it does anything damaging, so... That's the order of the day with that. And because I led with a... Oh, okay. She's using Murkrow, her... Honestly, the most pathetic Dark type the two ever have existed. If only because it doesn't evolve in this generation, and if it does, she didn't evolve it. If this was a Honchkrow, I would actually have a bit of trouble with it. Level 44, so... not low level. Well, there goes my Poison Barb. Oh wait, no, never mind. That's a physical, uh, flying-type move that eats the Hell Berry. I thought it was, a, uh, I thought that was knockoff. <laughs> anyway, as you can tell, I just did a ton of damage with just, uh, Sludge Bomb, so... I'm gonna use Gyro Ball here simply because it's a steel type attack that does more damage the slower you are, so. Which makes no sense. I actually want to see if that's actually uh, labeled correctly. Yeah. The slower the user, the greater the damage. I actually have never known that to be true, because I've used it on some pretty slow Pokemon. Theor theoretically, with a lagging tail, that would make. Uh, Zenzak a big damage dealer to, uh, rock types, which I don't have anything to use on for yet. Stop. Anyway, there goes Murkrow. Nice and simple. Next up, Houndoom. Oh, jeez. She's going with the big guns nice and early. You may be able to tell from the layout picture I have, Houndoom is her main Pokemon and a very tough one. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. Alright, hopefully that was just a nicely did incident. I stopped my recording and I'm starting it again, but... Level 47, the highest level thing you'll fight in, a, in the Elite Four up to this point. Very high attack and special attack. We'll know Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, Sunny Day, and Solar Beam. That's at least what I would give Houndoom at this level. But hopefully I can take it out in just one... Surf. Alright guys, I'm sorry about this, but I actually had to restart my emulator again because it was doing the skip bullshit. But the fight went exactly the same way, except this time uh, Murkrow didn't get a critical hit on its second pluck, so... Zenzak has just a little bit more health, but not much. Anyway, as you can tell, he has nasty plot, which sharply raises special attack. You've got to be kidding me, really. Come on. I'm going to start using safe states in the middle of battle to save some time, because that's getting ridiculous. Anyway, let's see how much damage this does. She used her full restore already, so... Oh, come on. And has a citrus berry, so. With that, he might be able to take out a Quan in one shot. Or you can withdraw him like a little bitch. Oh god, come on! Well, it looks like I'm gonna be uh, using a safe state and restoring my emulator yet again, because that kind of skipping is not good. So, yeah, just give me one second, and I'll be right back. I'm, I hate using safe states in battles because it makes me look like a save scummer, but. Kind of have to with the way my emulator is acting up. Alright, let's see if um, changing up the emulator will help. Uh, for Vile Plume, let me actually do this. I actually really hope when I do this, she doesn't just switch right back at the Hound, because that'll be annoying. And that was annoying as well, but. Anyway, I don't us I don't really know what her Vile Plume has, because usually I KO it before it gets a chance to do anything, but. Apparently, no Stun Spore Acid, my guess would be Giga Drain and 
sludge bomb, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, normally I KO before there's a chance to do anything, so... Oh, come on. I'm already impatient enough because of my emulator. It'll be fully paralyzed on me. I don't want to have to use one of my very few full restores because I know I'm going to have to save them for Lance. Alright, so far no skipping. So maybe I just had to completely restart it because I also shut off Bandicam and restarted it, so... I don't know if it's a Bandicam issue or not. I mean, I'll definitely take that because Houndoom would have outsped me and it would have done a lot of damage with Dark Pulse with the uh, Nasty Plot, so... Because Dark Pulse can also make you flinch. Let's see how much damage this does. From 170 to... Yeah, it did 65. With with Nasty Plot, that may have done up to a more... Like, maybe like 100 or something. But luckily, I didn't have to deal with that because she was an idiot. And Gengar, in my opinion, her actual most dangerous Pokemon. Gengar is definitely nothing to sneeze at. I saw I got some skipping there. Level 45, it's probably gonna know Psychic, Shadow Ball, Hypnosis, and... My guess on a Gengar just for trollish purposes would be Thunderbolt. Okay, so I... Oh, Focus Blast! Okay, beat that trollish then. It's actually a perfect move because it helps combat normal types perfectly. Just piss poor accuracy. Whew, that was a close one. You know, if you would've hit the first time, if this doesn't kill him in one shot, you would've won. Yep, I would've won. And of course, because he missed with a 90 accuracy move on the first shot. I swear to god, for the computer, 70 accuracy moves have 90 accuracy, and for the player, 90 accuracy moves have 70 accuracy. I swear. If she would have used something like Fissure, I guarantee you I would have been KO'd. Anyway. Probably gonna outspeed Typhlosion for no apparent reason. No ordinary trainer could have gotten this far. No, I am not. I'm gonna Shadow Claw the shit out of you. Why did you not use Psychic or Shadow Ball? You would have got same type of attack bonus. Shadow Ball does almost as much damage as Focus Blast. Anyway, that was silly of her. She could have actually done a decent chunk of damage to me and forced me to use a healing move, but no. Awesome. Give me all that money. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon, that is only selfish perception of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win with the best Pokemon they love best. I like your style. You understand what's important. Go on. The champion is waiting. Truer words have never been spoken. Ah, oh, jeez. But she left me with some serious holes, so I'm going to heal up, like, right now. Alright, we're done healing, and it's time to continue onward. I love the redesign of this place. Moving parts, the teeny statues, it all looks so amazing. In the next episode... Lance has been waiting for us, but you guys are going to have to wait one more day. We will take out Lance and be crowned the Pokemon League Champion. Take care, guys.